Lots of sunshine and overall not a bad day for us. Let's take a look outside here at Arlington near AT&T Stadium. It's 60 in Fort Worth, still holding the upper 50s in Arlington, Keller and Benbrook. But we should all climb into the mid and upper 60s here in the next few hours. And that's about 10 degrees above normal for this time of year, so not bad at all for the end of January. But you notice the wind speeds here during the afternoon and evening will be out of the south anywhere between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Temperatures should fall into the 50s later on this evening. And notice a rain chance showing up as early as midnight. We will have small rain chances starting tomorrow. Now, the pollen count. This is what we don't want to see, and that is the mountain cedar, which is now in the high category. In fact, it's at the highest levels it's been so far this year. And the mountain cedar really loves conditions like we have today, mild with south winds, and because that south wind helps carry all that pollen up from the hill country. So if you suffer from mountain cedar, and I know a lot of us do, then this is the reason why your throat may be scratchy or eyes are watering for today. Looking uh, at the big picture, we have not only a fire danger here in North Texas, but all the way out to West Texas, up toward Kansas, Oklahoma. This is where we actually have red flag warnings in effect for today. But our rainmaker is heading in from the West Coast. There's already rain in California, Oregon, and Washington. That front will provide us a best chance of rain coming up Saturday morning. But as I mentioned, we'll have at least a small chance starting tomorrow. So for today, mostly sunny, breezy, the high 67. Overnight, the clouds thicken up, maybe a spotty light shower. Temperature near 47 to start the day on Friday, and just a 20% chance of rain during the day today, and still mild in the upper 60s. Here comes that front I was talking about, and as it arrives Saturday morning, that's when we have about a 40% chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm. This is not going to be a repeat of last weekend in terms of severe weather. And then that quickly moves off to the east, and we should actually clear out a little bit Saturday afternoon. So the first half of Saturday, we have a chance of rain. The second half, we should see sunshine and highs in the mid 60s. Lots of sun Sunday in 63. And by the middle of next week, we're talking about highs going back into the mid 70s on Wednesday. Yeah,